Ashland University has been around for about 140 years. It's a small private college. We've got undergraduate programs, College of Nursing, the College of Business and Economics, the College of Education, and the College of Fine Arts. We have about 10,000 active accounts. The bulk of that is our students. Within a business environment, you have greater control of the, the assets that are being used. Within a university environment, we simply don't have that ability to do so. One of the issues that we face with, uh, with the student population is the fact that at higher education, they expect essentially unlimited access. And part of that is just because of academic freedom, the need to do research. Part of that is the fact that they're adults and want to be treated as an adult. It's very hard to go and put any kind of restrictions on what they can and cannot do, while at the same time we have to make sure that what they do doesn't pose a security risk. So you've got that balance of their freedom to do what they want to do, our necessity of protecting core services to make sure that the interaction that is happening between their devices and our core network and our core services is protected. What we've tried to do to make our systems as safe as possible is first of all just recognizing what, what systems do we have responsibility for. And that's a tough decision. We would like to be able to go and say we'll take responsibility for the student systems. That incurs liability. And so we're moving in situations where we're segmenting the, the network off so that these areas are more protected, these areas are less protected, and it's hard to cross those boundaries. And that benefits everybody. It benefits the students because they're not getting at stuff that they shouldn't be getting at. CrowdStrike itself has played an important part in how we're securing our workstations. We had had a competitive product for a number of years and just gradually saw it not catching the kinds of things that we needed it to see. Finding more and more that there's a lot of suspicious behavior that goes on before that. So if we can get something that's identifying those things, then we've got a higher confidence of stopping malware before it can infect something. One particular situation that we had came up four or five months ago now, and we'd had a system that for whatever reason didn't have CrowdStrike installed on it. It was away, and so it had gotten a hold of a piece of malware and was basically trying to become a command and control for other computers in one of our buildings. Well, the CrowdStrike agent was installed on those computers, and it was blocking those processes from executing and taking the next step and spreading. Shortly after we put CrowdStrike in place, there was a zero day that, that occurred. And we were noticing it here about 12 hours after it appeared in the wild, and somewhere in Asia. By the time that I came in in the morning, CrowdStrike had already seen it and was already protecting against it. And so that to me is gold because I know that when something is detected, my systems are going to be protected. <laughs>